In Isaiah 9 6, what is the exact reference to the Trinity? So I'm first, uh, this is Isaiah speaking, 800 years before Jesus. So unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. So that's talking about this. You missed the last bit. Prince of Peace. Yes. So this prophecy is about whom? Is it about the Son? You are, the question was one verse yes. in the Bible uh -huh. where the Trinity is described. It's not described. Either it is. No, it's you 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 see it's not described. The Trinity doesn't mean three different persons. Listen, the, the listen, listen. Trinity is not even in listen, the Listen, I'm not asking telling about the word. Okay. You need to listen to what I'm saying. No. The Trinity, can you please define it first? Not the word, can you define the concept of Trinity? The essence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. That's what we believe. Okay, essence of God what? What you mean? Are they three different beings or the one being? One being. One being? Yes. Yeah, okay. Three parts. Okay. Three different persons or one person? Look, if I bring you a cup of tea, mm -hmm. it's, what are you going to say I brought you? A cup of tea? Right. Are you going to say that you have just bought me hot water, sugar and essence of tea leaves? No, I wouldn't. Right. But that's what tea consists. Okay, so so when you define T, so now Yahweh consists of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, good. When you say Yahweh consists of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the question remains: Where does it say that in the Bible? I just told you. No, you are implying. No, because, no, it's there. Read it. No, what you have done is because you are you are, you are a Christian, you are reading the other verse. Can I finish? Can I finish what I'm saying? Because you are a Christian, you are reading it backwards into a Jewish uh, scripture. Now listen to this. Of all the Jews in the world, of all, in uh, the religion of Judaism, yes? Do you really think any of them see the Trinity in there? So when they become start believing in the Messiah, yes. Okay. Did Jesus believe in the Messiah? Did Jesus believe in himself? Yes. Okay. Did Jesus know better than you what the Trinity is? Of course he did. Okay. So when Jesus says the Father is the only true God, yeah. why does he deny the Trinity? He doesn't deny it. So why does he mean when We've he says... We've had this conversation... Yes, I know. But you are now going back... No, no, you're backtracking on that. Look, every week we yes. have the same conversation. Right. Now, I've, I've explained to you, in the book of John, Jesus makes it clear what? that he is in the Father and the Father is in him. He also says the disciples are in him. Yeah, that's another... That's another why uh, Why do you regard, disregard that? No, I'm not disregarding You that. are. Through the Holy Spirit, we are in him. We've been through all this in our last debate. So you are also God okay. with him then? Anyway. No, no, wait a minute. By your logic, if Jesus is inside... Sorry, the Father is inside Jesus, yeah. that makes him God. If, it, if they are inside you, would that... If, if they are inside you, would that make you God? No. Exactly my point. No. So no. just because the Father is in Jesus... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm using the same language and the same terminology that you're using. Okay. Just because it doesn't okay. it doesn't fit into your uh, ideology, you disregard it because... Okay, you that believe the Father is the true God. Say again? You believe the Father is the true God, right? No, not me. Jesus believes that. Okay. But Jesus is your prophet. Yes. Right. So Jesus said that. And? Yeah. So he, Jesus said the Father is the true God. And what? And what? So do you believe that? I believe the Hebrews, the Jewish people at that time, yeah. called God the Father, called God Elohim, yeah. called God, uh, they called God Yahweh, for example, as well. Maybe maybe the pronunciation of ours not, not, might not be right. Yeah. They called him many things. But they referred to God Almighty, distinct, wait, wait, okay. distinct from the creation. Okay. okay, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The God 
of Islam and the God of Judaism is always distinct from his creation in the sense that the creation is not the creator. But you Christians consider the creation like Jesus as the creator. No, forget about Christians. Well, I can't. I'm talking to one. How can I forget about Christians? If the Father is the true God, then can Allah be your Father? Did I not just explain that to you? What did I say? Did you even listen to what I said? Your problem is you never listen. No, 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 no honestly, you don't know what honestly, you your problem is you don't listen. You don't know what you believe. Instead of you telling me what I don't believe, did you listen to my uh, okay. response? What was my response? Let's okay. see if you what? no, no. Let's see if you were listening. Is the God of the Jews? Let's see if you were listening. Was Yahweh? It is Yahweh the true God. Hold on. Let's see if you were listening. What was my response to your question? I can't remember. What was your? You were not listening, were you? That is a problem with you. You know, you guys have come here for a dialogue. But then you don't listen no. because you you got one track mind no, no, which no, keeps no, spinning no. instead of listening and you having a dialogue. You are stuck you in that got one track one, one track mind. And your needle is stuck on John chapter seventeen verse three, which you don't like. You can't get which you don't like. I don't mind it. Okay, let's go to the next one. John seventeen three seventeen. Let's just go to John chapter seventeen verse three. The Father. Yes. He's a true God. According to Jesus, he was the only true God. What right. is Jesus your prophet? Yes, he is. Right. So Jesus and the Father. Is the true God. Is Allah the true God then? Okay. Now, since you have not listened to my response the last time, I'll repeat it again for you. No, because that, no, because you asked the same question. Stick, let's stick to John chapter 17, verse 3. Hello. Is Allah you the true God? You asked me the same question. I answered you. But since you were not listening, you're scratching your head now. No, no, since sure. you were not listening, I'll repeat it for you. But this time, pay attention. Okay? I'm going to listen. Thank you. When the Jewish people refer to God, they refer to him as Abba, yeah. as Elohim. Yeah. Yes, yeah. as uh, even Yahweh, yeah. however it was pronounced, yeah. there were many ways they would refer to him. Yeah. What was the language of Jesus? Uh, Greek. No. Aramaic. Yes. Okay. okay. How would you say God in Aramaic? Okay. Allah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now listen to the term Allah and the term. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm it's responding. Ilaha. No, no, it's not Ilaha. You're talking about Ilah. That's it's different. Ilaha. Ilaha is different from Allah. It doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't because when they were saying if Allah, like you're saying, means God, <coughs> right? Then they were referring to Yahweh. Of course, I didn't say no. You That's what I'm saying. To Yahweh. Again, you're not listening. You say Allah. Again, you're not listening. I said they, they referred to God in many different ways. One of them was Yahweh. Way. One of them was Elohim, one of them was Abba, and another way the Aramaic speaking people, wait, wait, the Aramaic speaking okay. people like Jesus Christ, they used to refer to him as God, was, which is translated as wait, God of the Jews. Can you let me finish and the then you can say? They, the Aramaic speaking people like Jew, uh, like Jesus would refer to God as Allah. Yeah. Now, I don't do know. You, I'm not agreeing with you. I don't know. Well, you don't have to agree. Yeah. You can go home and research it. Okay? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I may do, I may not. Yeah. What do you mean, may or may not? If you're seeking the truth, you will. But if you if you are not bothered about the truth, that's different. Allah and Allah, yes, infinitely, are they similar? Do they sound similar to you? They may sound similar. They may not. Do you do they sound similar? Look, Which is more similar, the term God or the term Allah to Allah? That doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it does matter. Allah, does it mean God or is it the name of God? Allah is both. Allah means God and the name of God. So in your shahada, in your shahada, when you say ilaha, yeah, ilaha Allah, means ilaha means so okay. Ilaha, ilaha yes. is God. Yes. Right. Yes. Means uh, no, no, no. Means no, God, no, no, no. But Allah. Listen. Right? Good question, actually. Many people actually misunderstand this. Ilaha when we say la ilaha we means there is no deity so ilaha can be any deity it can be a false god a true god yes like for example the term elohim very important the term elohim in the bible it's, it's a, can i please finish with the name no 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 ilaha is not a name the term elohim is not a name it can be referred to as a name i think sometimes but the term elohim was used for moses in the bible was moses his name elohim no was Moses a trinity? I don't know about that. I well, it's know. in uh, Go home and check Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. Come, come back to 
a shahada. Yes, I'm coming back to that because you told me it's not a name, so I had to tell you. So the term Elohim is used for Moses, who is a single person, yes. and he is no God. So that's what I'm trying to tell you that these terms, Elohim, okay. Ilah, they can be used for false gods Allah and true gods. The term Allah, I'm coming to that now. The term Allah is unique in the sense that it's only used for the Almighty God. Yes, the Supreme God, only He can be referred to as Allah, and His name is Allah. No one, no false god, no deity, no human, no angel, no one other than Almighty God can be referred to as Allah. Even the pagan Arabs knew this. Okay. Yes? Jesus never referred to God as Allah. But he, he did as Allah. I told you already. He always called him Father. How do you know he always called him Father? How do you know he didn't call him Elohim? He's in the, he's in the okay. Let me ask you this. Did Jesus ever call God Yahweh? He called him Father. Did he call him Yahweh? He called him Father. I heard you. Yeah. Why are you stuck one track record? Move on. Did he call him Yahweh? Yes or no? Do you call your father by his name? No. Did he you call him? Call your... Why are you asking a counter question when I because respond to every? Out of respect, you yes. wouldn't call him Yahweh. Why out of respect? It's mentioned 6,000 times in the Old Testament. Yeah. Do you call your father? By no, answer the question first. Why? I'm answering no, your no. question. Did he call him Yahweh? Yes or no? First. Yeah. No. Well, this is a childish answer. No, it's not childish. Yeah, You're the one who brought it in. No, no. Did he call him Allah? Okay. He did not call him Allah because he was. 17 verse 3. Sorry? John chapter 17 verse 3. Yeah. Right? The only true God is the Father. Yes. Now the Father and Allah are two separate gods. Okay, is Father and Him? Father is a title. Good. Yeah. So my question is, is father a name? Is, can Allah be a father? No. Allah is not no one's father. Right. So Jesus referred to Yahweh as father. You're not listening again, is it? This is I repeated the answer twice to you one that the way one, one second, brother. No. The terminology used by the Hebrews was different things for God Almighty. But all those different mentions of God, they could refer to the false God and true gods, except certain terms like Yahweh. Yes? However, the term Allah, which is a name and a reference to God Almighty. It's a name. I'll say it's a name. No, it's a, it's a reference to God as well. Well, in your shahada, what you're saying really is there's no God but Allah. Yes, and Allah yeah. means the God. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's basically meaning that the God means the Almighty God. However, it is also a name. In Arabic, every single name has a meaning to okay. it. But and the meaning of Allah. Allah. Islam, Allah and everything is completely separate to Judaism. Sorry. Agree? Same like the Bible in the New Testament. No Yahweh mentioned. Not even once. Why was the most important but name of believe, God erased from the New believe, Testament? You believe in all the prophets. All the prophets, yes. Right. You believe in all the prophets. All the true prophets, right. yes. They all brought the truth of Yahweh. Really? Yes. Where did Adam say Yahweh? Go on, show me. Where did Adam go to Mecca? What's that got to do with? No, no. You're changing the topic from the name to a location now. Look, you you can't have a proper a dialogue, Muslim? can you? Okay, was Adam a Muslim? Adam was a Muslim, yes. Okay. By the did definition of the Bible? term. Hold on. Did he go to can, I can, he, I, can, I can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? Can you show me a okay. I'll keep quiet when you want an answer. Because you have a very bad problem of switching topics when you're stuck. No. The topic was this. In John 7 and 3, who's the only true God? Only the Father. According to whom, who's the only true God? Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Start on John chapter 17 verse 3. What's wrong with that? And let's explore this. Yes, explore it. Explore it. Explore it. I answer the question. I believe. Yes. With you. What? That when Jesus said that you that you are the true God. Yes. Father, you agree with that? I agree with that. Good. So you do, do not you agree, agree with that. You know what that means? Do you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, I'll respond. Do you? You know what your 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 um what do you say? What you just said now? Yeah. Your testimony and your words. You know when you say the Father is the only true God. Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah. That means anyone besides the Father. Is not a true God. Do you agree with that? No. Exactly my point. No. You see how, how deceptive they are? Because, because this is the deception of the Trinitarians. No. I bring up John 17 3. Because even though I repeat, like you said, I repeat it every time, even then they don't understand it. Jesus is in Thank the you very much. Okay. Thank you for proving to me that you guys are dishonest. Okay. And now let's talk about Adam. Let's talk about Adam being a Muslim. We are not fighting. We are, ha we are having a passionate dialogue. Calm down. Okay? Are we fighting, my friend? Are we fighting? Unless no, no, no. Thank you very much. So can you tell him not to butt in unnecessarily fighting? Okay. Now, now we, what I'm saying is that the next verse, which I don't quote very often, but I'll quote it this time. Jesus says in John 17, 4, yes, that he has given glory to God by doing his work on the earth. And the work that he has given him is now done. It's finished. Do you believe before the crucifixion, all of Jesus' work was finished? 
I'm going to use an example here. When somebody knows that they're going to die, they're going to pray to God. Their final prayer. Depends on the person, yeah. Carry on. And they're going to thank God or petition God or make requests of God regarding their situation or about their life. Okay. So at that point, Jesus knew that he'd finished his ministry and the next step, which he was not was his death and that was the final step so by him taking that final step he'd be finishing the work he didn't say he was finishing he said he, said he had finished he said, he said he is finished twice. not finishing once in that prayer and once on the cross before he breathed his last he says father it is finished no, he, he said his last. no 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 wait a minute when he says so in john 7 and 4 said, so in his prayer he was right to say i have finished the work that you gave me to do okay so he knew and just in a few hours time he's going to take be taken captive and be scrouged be whipped and be crucified and be put to death okay here he says i have brought you glory on earth yes Remember, it's a prayer it's a prayer wait a minute of course it's a prayer yeah, yeah. the prayer includes so praying to his father thank you do you, whom do you pray to i pray to the father only the father in the name of jesus yes and only in the name of what, what happened to the holy ghost the poor guy just left out all the time we, we, no, no, please don't bless me. because that is please, i'm not blaspheming please, i'm saying please. he's not referred to why please. why don't you refer to him in your prayers we can talk to the holy spirit we pray to the father in the name of jesus no but why don't you in pray the, the messiah yes to the father through the spirit of god okay that's how we pray okay so in other words you need a middle man like jesus to pray to the father absolutely actually actually we don't know because jesus said no longer do i ask the father on your behalf you can ask the father for anything in my name that's what jesus said yeah but he asked the father and his father rejected his prayers in the garden no, he yes he did no 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 yes you put a twist on it i'm not putting any twist on it so his prayer was answered what was his prayer said, nevertheless not my will but yours yeah that is called submission but what was his prayer no that that was his because so his prayer was answered what was his prayer not now what was his prayer his prayer was let, let, let me be delivered from this let's cut past from this. yeah and what does that mean there's all types of sermons on that what does it mean you tell me his prayer was answered that is your question what, what, what does it mean take the cup from me what does it mean it means he was a bit um, apprehensive about going through with the death but he knew he had to go through it that, he that's where, said, that's where. Can there be another way? Wait a minute. That, okay. That's where. Let, 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 that's where. Let me answer, please. Yes. In other words, what he was saying, Father, is there any other way uh -huh. for forgiveness? Yes. Is there any other way? And there was no other way. I thought he was God. He should know that, shouldn't he? If there was another way. Listen, when he was here on earth, uh -huh. he was God in the flesh. Though he was equal with God in right. divinity, but in relationship, the Father is greater. So he was Sorry, in relationship? In relationship. What relationship? With his father. Are you saying in authority? Relationship, just like my children, yeah. are the same essence that I am of. Yes. Right? So they are equal to me as a person. Yes. But in relationship, I'm their father. I'm no, no, how are you greater than them? In age? No, 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 in relationship. Yeah, in, in your relationship with your son, how are you greater? Are you greater than your children? In, in age, yes. In, in, relationship. in age. In relationship. Explain to me, I don't understand what you mean by you relationship. You understand, you just don't want to. Unless you want to say authority. A father has authority. Yes. So are you saying you're greater in authority than your son? Okay. Is that what you're saying? Because in relationship doesn't make sense. Of course you're related by the fact okay. that you are the parent of your child. In, in regards to the Jesus' authority and the father's authority, in, in the relationship of father and son, yeah. yes. In what? In authority or in what? Authority, Good. So in authority, the father is greater. Can any in personhood? Yes. They equal. Well, there's no personhood. They are not equal. Yes, the father, are. the personhood you of the father is not. Children and you are human okay. beings. First, Agree? first and foremost. Agree. Yes. Right. Yes. So Jesus, in divinity, is equal to the father, okay. but the father is greater in relationship. Okay. So in authority, the father is greater. In a, say, in 
I, know, I know you don't like to use the term authority, but that is exactly I what you're to, referring to here. I have to say yes. You know why? Why? Because Jesus would never ever make a, a decision without consulting the Father. Okay. What about now? Is he still hiring authority the Father? Jesus at the right hand of the Father. That wasn't my question. Yeah. Is he still higher in authority than the Son, the Father? I would have to say yes. You'd have to say yes? Yeah. So all the time, the authority of the Father is the highest. But in person, who they equal. You know, you know what that tells you? You know what that tells you? What? That there is a hierarchy in the Trinity, There's in authority. No there is. Is there a hierarchy in your family home? There is, yes. Yeah. The head of the family is a father in yeah. your Bible as well. Yeah. Yes, First Corinthians 11.3, yeah. it says two things. The head of the woman is a man and the head of Christ is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is, is? It's, it's God. Good. Yeah. Why did you not say the head of Christ is the father? He said head of the Christ but is we, God. We, because who? The God, Christians, the father is the only true God. That's we why. as Christians will never ever say that Jesus will overrule the authority of authority. Jesus can never do that. Overrule the Father's authority. Because his authority is submissive to the Father. Remember? He is God. He's not God. Father. God can never have a higher authority. Maybe your God in does. In the person. Even in the person. How many persons are there in the God? Three. Three? Yeah. Now that is not in the Bible. Yes it is. No it's not. Yes it is. It's a Trinitarian belief from the church. No, no, no. Jesus. It's your... in the Bible man. So unless... John chapter... Well you're, you're opposing Why John 7 and 3. Why don't you read John chapter 14, 15 and 16? Why don't you read John 7 and 3? Just, we're talking about John yes, exactly. Right? And Jesus disagrees exactly. with you about the three persons. No, he doesn't. He believes in a universal God. This is turning into an argument. Right? It's not an argument. It's it a is. clear fact which you're denying. Okay. Unfortunately. Let's when Jesus says that he believes in the Father is the only true God, you keep saying three persons. Whom do I believe? You or Jesus? Okay, let's talk about yeah. Islam. No, let's talk about John 17 4. You haven't finished that yet. Look, you've had your fun with John chapter 17, verse 3. So let's talk about It's not about else. fun. It's about the facts. The fact is, Jesus himself said, my works were finished. Okay? But I have and glorified you by finishing the works that you I gave me. Just explain that. What? He said that it is finished twice. First time in that prayer, second time on the cross. What is the second time? Can you remember what the verse is? It's on the cross. Yeah. And, and what says, is it? He breathed his love. Uh, just, he said, it is finished. What is it? And then it, he breathed his love. Okay. What is the it? It's either in Matthew. Listen, I ain't got my Bible. Well, no, I want, to, I want your understanding. What does the it signify here? It, it is finished. What is it? The work. Where does it, it say work? Finished. Where does it say that's the work? Okay, you tell me what was he referring to? Because it here, yeah. okay, wh whoever that was on the cross, mm -hmm. that means whatever the crucifixion was finished. Yeah, okay? Crucifixion. Now, what, what was the crucifixion for? The crucifixion, if it was finished, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Imagine this, if your boss gave you a, a job to do, and you tell him the job you gave me is now finished, would he expect you to finish it later on as well, the same job? The same job we give you will, you, will you expect you to finish it in two different phases? Or when you say that I finished the work that you gave me, he expects you to finish it all. You see, what you're saying is, this is now you're trying to be um, uh, uh, ap uh, apologetic here and try to say that, oh no, his work was finished, Jesus said it once, but then it was also finished on the cross. If Jesus says before the crucifixion his work was finished, then that should actually ha have some significance. But you're saying, no, it wasn't finished then, it was actually finished no, after. I'm not, it's I'm not, picking. I gave you the you are, exact you are, same. You are. Yes? You are. Anyway, what faith are you? Are you talking about this topic or another topic? I mean, I mean, no, no, we, we stick to one topic, my brother. Okay? So, okay, now, you ask me about You believe in ask us about Islam prophet, now. Go on. Yeah, you believe in Tao that should. Did Tao worship Allah? So, did who worship Allah? Tao, David. Dawood. 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 Yeah, yes, of course. All the prophets yeah. worship show Allah. Show me where. In the Quran? Yeah, show me. Dawood is one of the prophets of God. Yeah. yeah. Do you not know that? Yeah, of course I know that. I'm asking you. Show me where he bowed down to Allah. Oh, bow down to Allah. Look, first and foremost, the Quran is not a biography of the prophets. Okay? So Allah doesn't mention everything that Jesus said or Prophet Muhammad even. Wait, wait. So what you're asking me is something which is from the biography of David. Now, everything which you find in the in the Bible with regards to David, you won't find that in the Quran. Just because you won't find the Quran doesn't mean you just say the Quran is wrong. There are certain things which... no evidence of King David or any of the previous prophets praying to Allah, bowing down to Allah, or making a pilgrimage to the Kaaba, or anything. So Pilgrimage to Kaaba? Yeah. Okay, first and so foremost, listen that, to this. supposed to be listen, the house of listen God. Listen to this. Again, that, again. supposed to be the house of God. Yes. And David and all these other prophets 
was supposed to be your prophet. Yes. But yet they never went to the house. How do you know that? So these are How do you know that? You know what you're you're, you're committing a fallacy here. Show me something. Wait a minute. Show what you're doing here is you're committing me. you're committing a fallacy. Show me. I'm responding to you. If you keep quiet, I'm not you are again doing that one track thing, repeating yourself like a broken tape record. It's you. Yo, let me finish. Let me finish. Yes. I just want to come away. I just want to come away. Sorry, sister. I know you guys don't like John 7 and 3. No, no, it's I'm called the kryptonite of the Trinitarians. We can talk about they love about to say three persons, but Jesus Christ says one person. That's the death of the Trinity. We Thank you very much. Carry on talking about John chapter 17 verse 3. Yeah. Right. Okay. But what you're telling me is to find the biography of David or everything that David did. Yeah. Is it in the Quran? My answer is simple. No. No. So uh, how does that disprove how, David? How do you follow David? Why I don't follow David? Who said I follow David? So you say you believe in David. Yes, of course I believe in him. He was a prophet. There's right? a difference between believing in someone and following him. For me, my Sharia is not the Sharia of Dawood. My Sharia is of, uh, of uh, the last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did Jesus bow down like Muhammad okay. sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Hold, hold a minute. Hold a minute. In his prayers. Hold on a minute. Did he? Look, I've asked this question before. Yeah, but God you don't want not, to know that. Why God does not look at. Down. God does not look at the position of your body when you're praying. To How him. do you know that? He doesn't. So you're saying you know better than Jesus? I know my Bible. My do you know better than Jesus? Once again, you're appealing to knowing better than Jesus. My Bible tells me without faith, what? it's impossible to please God. Okay. God looks at your faith. So why did Jesus bow down then? Tell me. Knee. Why did he bow down? Tell me why. Jesus bowed down. Jesus stood up. Jesus. Why did he bow down when he prayed? What do you mean? Why did he put his face on the floor when he prayed? He was in agony, talking to his father. Why did he bow down? Let, let's come back. Let's come. What about the other prophets? Did they bow down? Let's did the other prophets bow down? I'll show you from the Bible. Yeah. Yes. Why did the other prophets also bow down with the face yeah, on the floor? Yes, Christians bow down. Jesus bowed down. So what? The question is, why do they all bow down? You do you bow down when you pray to God? Sometimes, yeah. We've answered, I've answered this question before. I've, 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 I've seen people praying in the church. Now the Sunnah. If, how many people have seen them bowing down? Can I, can I ask? Questions? Is it related to this can topic, I my friend? A question, you know no, is it related Hashim, to this topic? Hashim, if not, if not, then Hashim, it's not point. Hashim, 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 yes. Hashim. Yeah, go on. And then you. The Sunnah. I want to learn about you. Know. Sunnah. Of, I want to let him finish. So the Sunnah. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, go on. Yeah. The Sunnah of Muhammad yeah. contradicts the Sunnah of David, the Sunnah of Jesus, the Sunnah of Solomon, the Sunnah of um, Abraham. You know what the Sunnah means? Uh, the saints. The what? No, no, Sunnah doesn't mean saints. You tell me. Okay. In the case, it's talking about the Sharia. Yeah. What is the Sharia's main creed? What is the main creed of all the prophets? Okay. This creed, this Sunnah that you've got, that yeah. this Sharia that you believe in, yeah. the previous prophets that you believe in, they never introduced the Sharia. I didn't say they did. Right. So, how? Why does this, your teachings now contradict okay. all the teachings of the previous prophets, okay. what is, which you believe in? You know that your question really implies that you don't even know what Sharia is. What is Sharia? I don't. I, okay, you tell me. Then why are you using okay. this terminology? Okay. You use Sunnah. Now. Yeah. I, okay, I agree. I use the term Sharia, okay, but you use, you use the term Sunnah. At least know the meanings of it. Okay. okay. Apologies. First and foremost, use the okay. word Sunnah. Right. Sharia includes the creed and the Sunnah. Okay, so it includes everything that God has actually told. So it's basically like a guide for human beings, yeah. how to follow the religion, how to follow uh, the, the teachings of the prophets and so on. Every single five pillars, right? Wait a minute. Every single listen to this carefully, this might answer your question. Go to salvation, so no this. problem, no problem. No. It's not by human sacrifice, that's for sure. Okay. okay? Sharia, 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 well, it's uh, the temple, like you guys used to do in the temple. Sharia, every single prophet had their own, messenger had their own Sharia. So Abraham, Moses, David, Jesus even, okay, they followed a Sharia, a particular Sharia. So what does Sharia mean? So Sharia means, I've already explained, it is a, uh, it's basically rules and guidance yeah. to follow the faith in order to attain salvation. Yeah. So in other words, it's like your scripture in a more... Uh, Statues. Yeah, in a, a statue, you can say, yes. So it's, it's basically like explaining all those rules which are mentioned in the scripture, yes. So sometimes the details are not in the scripture, so the scholars and the prophets 
okay. I'll give you extra the, details. Okay, on that basis, the Sharia of Muhammad yes. how did it contradict the Sharia of the okay, So what is the most important creed in Islam with regards to the Sharia? What's the important creed? To believe in the one God. And? Right. And? And to believe in Muhammad. No, not just Muhammad. And? He's messenger. Okay. Messengers. Okay. okay. To believe in the messengers. Okay. So basically, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. So we have something called the six articles of faith. Yeah. Okay? It says in the Quran, Amana Billahi, to believe in Allah, the one God. Yeah. Amana Billahi, wa malaikatihi, the angels, wa kutubihi, the books of the messengers, wa rasulihi, the messengers themselves. Yes. Wal yawm al akhir means the last day, the day of judgment. Yes. Wal, uh, wal qadr. Yes. And this is. And if you don't. Wait, wait, let me finish. Okay. The qadr here is basically the predestination, the knowledge. So these six things, answer me this question. I don't know if you were listening this time. Yes. Allah, His books, His messengers, His, his angels, and the last day and the khadr. Tell me, which prophet did not follow these six articles of faith? Okay. By the way, by Allah, I mean God. So if you want to use the term God, that's fine. Now, which, which prophets, which okay. messengers from the Old and the New Testament did not follow these six articles of faith? Okay. And then you tell me if the Sharia is against them or with them. Okay. Now, one of those was the books. Mm. Right. Yes, the you books. Those do believe in the books. Yes. The previous books. Yes. Right. But you don't. Which one? You don't believe in the Psalms. Who said that I don't? You don't believe in the Angel. Who said I don't? Well, we have the Angel. You don't accept Who said it? that's the Angel? Yours is the Bible, not the Angel. We have the angel. You don't have the angel. Any other angel. You have it. I don't need it. I got the Quran. I don't need it. Okay. That's it's like you're asking me, oh, bring me Windows 98 when I've got okay. the latest you Windows version, you know? Why would I go to an, an old version when I got the latest and the best version? Okay. Alhamdulillah. So not, you don't believe in the previous books because you haven't Who seen Who said them? that? Ask me. Instead them. of you making a judgment, why didn't you ask me? You haven't seen them. Ask me, my friend. Okay. Do you believe in the previous books? I believe in the previous revelations of Allah. Yes. Okay. I believe in... The, the Injil, yeah. okay, I believe in the Zubur and the Torah and um, uh, the books given to uh, uh, the uh, Ibra Ibrahim, yes, these are the previous books that have been, we have, that have been named, yes, yeah. Yeah. so for Ibrahim, these are the books, the scriptures okay. uh, that so was given the to Ibrahim. the Old Testament that the Jews had. Yes, it's not the Torah. No, that's the Torah. Not to me. Okay, that, that's up don't, to you. Don't, but you just but you're asking me the question, remember? Okay. So don't impose it on me. But that's, that's, that's your opinion. No, it's my belief. That's the only Torah in the world only Torah in the world. Who told you that? That is the only Torah in the world. The, the angel that we have is the only angel in the world. It's the same angel that was around in Muhammad's time when he told you to believe in him. Okay, can I make right? a point there? No, you said there is only one Torah in the world. Yeah. Yes? What language is it in? Uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah. Do you know the earliest Torah is actually in Greek? <laughs> I've been told it's in here. Well, exactly, you've been told wrong. You, your problem is you You come by hearsay, not by research. You're saying that you believe in these books. No, you said there's only one Torah. You don't even know what language. You, you fail to look at these books. Because you How did I that, fail? Okay. That this one's Again, you're making, you say that you're making an allegation. Okay. Let's get over this. Part. No, 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 not Let's get over it. it. You made a fundamental mistake. You don't even know the language I they are in. You said there's only one Torah. Am I right? Okay. Did you say that or not? An alternative Torah. Wait a minute. Bring me one. I told you there's a Greek one. Okay. Okay. Is that different? to the one that yes it is it is show me what. it is the Hebrew version mm -hmm. and the Greek version they do differ no, and no, you know what that no. wait a minute you know why they differ and why they're different at what point wait a minute differ? you haven't even researched so you want me to teach you about all these things okay. in those Torahs yes is Allah mentioned in there oh there he goes again is Allah okay what language are they in it's, wait a minute what language is it in times a day mentioned yeah. in there what language are they in Greek and Hebrew good what is the what is the term that is Allah in the term Allah came, wait, wait, wait. The term Allah is what, Arabic according to you or is it Hebrew or Greek? Allah at the moment is in Arabic. Is that Arabic? So why would you expect to find it in the Hebrew and Greek? Okay, but show me for, uh, from the Torah that you believe that okay. you have. So now we have, right? we have shown one that, thing, that, you don't even know what language it is in. And for you to claim is only one Torah. So these people to pray five times a day. Okay. Five times a day came with the Sharia Prophet Muhammad okay. So once again, you're making a big mistake. It is called anachronism. Fallacy here. No, no, you know why? No, because no. what you're doing is show me in the Old Testament when the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu wasn't there, the five times prayer. Yeah. You know, every you time say, you say that you believe in the prayer. You know, wait a minute. You please stop. In this wait a minute. Please stop embarrassing yourself by trying to be anachronistic about things you don't know. You're saying find you know, the Old Testament. You know what you worship. I you know say, what I worship. Allah. No, you just quote me the five pillars yes. of Islam. Okay. One of them to accept the previous books. No, the you five pillars are not previous books. Again, you're embarrassing yourself. 
If you don't have knowledge, don't speak about it. Right. In the six articles of faith, yeah. which I told you, we have about the belief in the messengers and the angels and the books and the and last the day. Yes, the but not in the five pillars. The five pillars, I'll tell you what the five pillars are. Five pillars are again belief in Allah. Yes, the first pillar. To pray five times a day. Yes, to give zakat. To fast in the month of Ramadan. And to go for Hajj if you can afford it. Okay. okay? Now we have cleared about the six articles of faith yeah. and the five pillars of Islam. Please do not confuse them. Right. In regards to um, the Hajj, if you don't do Hajj, yeah. Are you then not a Muslim? No, you are a Muslim. If you cannot do Hajj, if you cannot afford it, then you're exempt from it. Okay. Now, if Allah is the same God... Did I answer your question about Hajj? Yes, you did. Good. Okay. It, right. Did King David or any of the prophets perform Hajj? We don't have the biography about that. Right. He didn't. But Abraham built the Kaaba. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he, didn't. he did. He did. It's in the Quran. It's in the Quran. Yes. Show me any previous documents from the previous to the Quran. Really? Yeah. But me. You know something? I can use the same thing for you. Yeah. Show me any previous documents that Moses even existed. Go on. It's in the Torah. Exactly my point. <laughs> Thank you very much. I lost my case. No, no, no. You accept the Torah. You said show me an external evidence. Now you show me an external evidence other than the Bible that Moses even existed. Oops. What's the matter? No, no, no. What's they, the matter? They, they, they are hip, there's fully historical records. No, don't say probably. If you haven't I done the research, then bring your research. Otherwise, just say I don't know. I don't know. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I've actually given you the response. With regards to David going to the Kaaba, we don't have evidence from external source. But we believe it's in the Quran that all the prophets believed and worshipped Allah. Whether he's going to Kaaba, we don't know. However, Abraham did build the Kaaba with his son Ishmael. One yes? more. No, no that, that, that's nonsense. Why is it nonsense? There's no, just because there's you know, no, just now he said he doesn't have evidence. No and now he's saying nonsense. There's no documents of that. Um, they, they, well, there's no documents of Moses, so it's nonsense that he existed. Okay. Yes? Can I use the same argument? Anna, Anna. No, no. Can I use the same argument with you? If there is no historical evidence other than the, uh, the, uh, the Torah and the Old Testament, yes, that means Moses never existed. Well, we have to start somewhere, don't we? Which is where? We have to start. Where is that? The Bible, we're not trying to jump on to the back of Islam. But Islam is trying to jump on to the back. No, Islam never jumped on the back. Yes, Islam is independent of your Trinitarian belief. Islam is independent of the Jews saying they are the chosen people and they are the only ones who will go to paradise. Yeah. Islam is free of this. We we do not discriminate between anyone, you or anyone. We say everyone has a choice to believe in one God and go to paradise. You're taking the prophets. Taking the prophets? Yeah. Oh, please, prophets. man. You're just embarrassing yourself now. You're taking the Jewish prophets and making them your own. Okay, can I say the same thing about you guys in the New Testament? You took the Jewish prophets and make them your own. Yeah. Why? Why do you do that? We are following on from, uh, from the angel of Jesus. Following on? Yeah. So you follow the Old Testament laws? We, th those, that's another subject altogether. Exactly my point. You're not following on. That's the point I'm making. No, 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 no. no. You are no. not following from the Old Testament nothing. Even the oneness of God, you don't follow that. The Shema. Shema Israel. Yes? <laughs> Adonai Elahunu Adonai Ahad. Now you do not even follow the Shema. Jesus followed it, yeah. but you Trinitarians don't follow. Thirsty. I want to get some water. I want to yes. Yes. Okay. No problem. All right. Give me a break. It's called a water break, tea break. Inshallah. Anybody else? Where's the other guy who wanted to talk to me? Okay. Ask Larry good morning, brother. Inshallah. Let's see you. Alhamdulillah. I was always watching you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, getting his, I don't know if he'll come back, but just wanted to say something. Look, with regards to the Quran, it's very clear that the message that which is in the Quran is something, it's not, it's not something that is ambiguous when it comes to the creed. We believe in the oneness of Allah, we believe in the messengers and the angels and the books and, and, and the last day of judgment and the Qadr. Yes, these things are very clear in the Quran all over. So the creed is not something that is ambiguous. The creed is well stamped throughout the Quran. There is no ifs and buts about worshipping Allah. Yes? In the, however, for the Christians, if you look at the early history of the Christians, they actually struggle with whether God is one or two or three persons. Yes? So we have Benetarians. If you look at Justin Martyr, he believed there were two powers in, in, in the heavens. Who are these? The Father and Jesus. No mention of the Holy Spirit. No mention of the Holy Ghost. In the year 381, they established the Trinity. 300 50 years after Jesus. Now you 
you tell me, why would Jesus leave out the most important thing, which is a creed, which is a central doctrine of Christianity, the Trinity, the doctrine of Trinity? Why would he leave that out? The only reason we can say that he left it out is because it wasn't really important. It wasn't even significant. It had nothing to do with the religious belief. In fact, it would be blaspheming God to associate partners with him, which the Muslims call shirk. And if the Jewish people, you ask them, they believe the same thing. Calling any creation God is something that is fundamentally flawed in the belief of Judaism and in the belief of Islam as well. The creation is not the creator. We have a clear distinction between the two in Islam and also in Judaism. And that's the reason when Jesus was asked about the most important commandment, yes, he said the same thing. He repeated the Shema of Moses. Yes, that here Israel, your Lord God, our, our God is one. He said our God, meaning the people and himself, they all believed in the same God. He repeats this in John 20, 17, that I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. Again, telling you that he has a God. He repeats the same thing, the, the passage which these guys don't like, the Trinitarians, in John 73, which they will never respond. They always go to John 17, 5 because they can't answer 3 and 4. Yes, in John 73, Jesus clearly advocates a unipersonal God and not a tripersonal God, not a Trinity. Very clear that the only that only the Father is the only true God. So Alhamdulillah, with that belief, is consistent and in sync, at least with regards to the main creed, that all the prophets believed in one God. They all believed in the angels of God. They all believed in the messengers of God. Yes, all believed in the books of God. And they all believed in the day of judgment and also in their predestination, their destiny. This is the creed, the six articles of faith in Islam. Alhamdulillah, the previous prophets, Jesus Christ himself, everyone were consistent in this creed and in this belief. Now with regards to the, the Torah, which he calls, why don't we Muslims believe it? We don't believe it because we do not consider it to be the Torah that was revealed to Musa alayhi salam. Ask the Christians, what is the earliest extant manuscript of the Torah? They will not find anything before the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are more than 1200 years after, Jesus, after Moses. Yes, more than a millennia after Moses, you have the, most, the earliest available manuscripts of the Torah. Yes, or the alleged to Torah. Now you tell me, if you have a gap as big as a millennium, as big as a millennia, what does that tell you? Yes, what do you tell your friend now, and he tells another person, and he tells a fourth person, can change. It's called Chinese whispers. Can change within a day, let alone a thousand and two, two and uh, three hundred years more. So why should we put our faith in a Torah which has no basis as to what Moses says? There's no way to basically fill that gap between Moses and the Torah. The only way you can say that Moses said X, Y, and Z is to speculate it or some remnants mixed with the truth and the falsehood. And that we see this throughout the Bible. For example, I'll give you just one, one, uh, uh, one example. In the book of Genesis, in chapter 6, verse 6, it says that God regretted. This regret was regards to God creating mankind and then mankind being disobedient to him. God regretted and God then decided to wipe out entire humanity. Now you tell me who regrets. Regret is a term that is used for a person who makes a mistake, who makes an error. Does God make a mistake? Does God make errors? No, he doesn't. God is perfect. When God decides something, he already has a plan in place. And he knows for him, time is not a subject. It's not something that he has, he, he's compelled with. He's not something he's subjected to, time. So for him to know about the future, the past, there's no past, present and future for him. It is something that we have to talk in our human terms for us to understand this. And that's the reason we we talk in these terms about the present, the past and the future. But with regards to God, how can he, how can he regret something that he had already planned before? Creating mankind is a plan of his. In fact, in the, uh, in the Hadith and in the Quran, in the, in the books, in the literature of Islam, we say that before Adam was created, Allah already does 
destined that he will come to earth. Yes? So anyone who says that Adam was thrown out of paradise as a punishment, that is incorrect. Before Adam was even born, let alone before he committed an error, that he was actually sent out of paradise. It was already predestined that he would go, he'll go as a vicegerent. Yes? On earth. So Allah decides this. And Allah doesn't regret anything, like it says in the Old Testament. So we do not believe that is a correct representation of God Almighty to say that God regretted. it. In the New Testament, we have more problems. We have an issue with regards to God not only coming down as a man, which is a change in nature. Yes, because in the Bible, God says that he doesn't change his nature. Yes, when God Almighty becomes from someone who's divine, yes, he becomes someone who is a human being. That is clearly a change in nature because the divine is immortal. The divine is all-knowing. The divine is omni. Uh, he, he's basically omnipotent in a way that we cannot fathom even. However, in the Bible we see that Jesus was not only not all-knowing because when he was asked about the last hour, he says no one knows the hour. Not the angels in heaven, not the Son, except the Father in heaven. So he makes a clear distinction between his knowledge and the knowledge that the Father has. Again, with regards to him becoming a son, that means he became a human being in the Bible because it shows his human aspect that he died, that he became someone who is not knowing everything about the last hour, that he had to basically eat and drink food, he had to go and call the answer, uh, answer the call of nature. All these things are something that Allah says in the Quran, specifically with regards to having a son, he is not, it does not basically befit his majesty. It is something that is beyond, what he said, beyond understand, beyond, uh, beyond comprehension, that God Almighty would actually beget a son. Now, what, when they say God begat a son, what does it mean? Does it mean that God actually gave birth to a son? No, he did not. God did not give birth to anyone. He's not like us human beings to give birth all right, to our child. He's not a biological son. So what kind of son can they believe in? The only other understanding is this, that they believe in someone who is a metaphoric son, not a literal biological son. Okay? Actually, there were people in the early Christianity who believed uh, that God adopted a son. So he did not have a son like a biological son, but he had ad adopted a son. They're called Gnostics and these people were are considered heretics by the Christians. So you see in the early Christian uh, belief they had all sorts of different understanding of God. So some say God did not have a body at all. Yes, hence the death and uh, resurrection doesn't apply to him. Because no body means just spirit. Means he cannot die. Yes, he cannot be res uh, resurrected. Now this is one of the beliefs of the early Christians. Then you have people like the Gnostics who believe that God was adopted, sorry, Jesus was an adopted son. And then you have the um, the Christians like this guy here, Godwin, who believe that God is both man and divine. Yes, he did not mix his divinity and humanity, neither are they separate. You try to figure that out, how that works. But anyway, at least in Islam, we are clear about this that Allah is one he's, Allah says he's unlike any of his creation now that is a beautiful definition unlike any of his creation oh, sorry anything not creation anything so anything that you can think of anything that you know about that you have seen or that is going to be seen in the future or the past he's unlike all of that is beyond your beyond your understanding your conception however are we completely ignorant about God no we are not Allah tells us in the Quran and also in the previous mess uh, messages, previous uh, books about certain attributes of his, yes, which are fundamental, like his immortality, yes, so his oneness, his, immortal, his immortality, his knowledge, yes, his ability to create and his ability and pow power over life and death. Yes, what is power over death means? It doesn't mean to resurrect from the dead. It means never to die at all. That is called power. To die is not power. Everyone dies. All humans die. Okay? Every living being dies. 
That is not called power. That is actually the weakness. So if you say crucifixion is something which is a miracle of Jesus, no, it is not. My dear Christians, my friends, this is not a miracle to die. Specifically, a God dying by his own creation, that is the worst thing that could happen to any God because a God is supposed to be almighty. He has power and authority over everything. And he doesn't die by his creation. That is something which is beyond imagination even for an almighty God. So anyway, because uh, our friend hasn't come back, so I think we should finish here, inshallah. And with that, we bid you...